Nano Banana Pro is now in Photoshop. Hop into Creative Cloud and just make sure you've got the latest Photoshop. Photoshop 2026 now has this built in directly. All you have to do is, after you have the selection, type in what you want. So for here, I can say, you know, make this a sunset image. So right now I've generated one image, but if I go back and ask for another variation, it's all baked into this one layer. And I can easily go back and reprompt. So there we go. I've got two different variations. I can switch here. Let's say I just want to focus on the bricks and change the color. It did the work, right? And that's not my complaint, but look around my selection area. Do you see this? You see this tinting? We also get a misalignment. You know, look at this little smokestack thing right here. So there is a little bit of a fix to that if you don't want that jiggle or deformation. And you need to make sure you're using a square selection. So what I mean by that is if I go over here to the lawn here and I hold down shift and I drag out, I can go here and do a generative fill and say, add a bush. I won't have that jiggle. And it, there's something to do with how the image is being downloaded from, you know, from Gemini servers, whatever and being distorted when it's not a square. So that's why we're aiming for square here. There's no jiggle. Although it was a big selection, it fits perfectly. So this is what I mean by that square selection. So again, it didn't do it perfectly, but it did remove that jiggle.